man chosen to be the newest doctor of the Catholic Church, St. John of Avila, was remembered at this book presentation in Rome last month. The Spanish experts on his life and teaching believe that he has something to say to the people of today. St. John of Avila is far from us in time, but nearby for his figure, his life, his evangelizing witness, and for his teaching. So, when the Church of the 21st century, led by Pope Benedict XVI, is called to a new evangelization, we find in the Apostle of Andalusia and Maestro of Avila a model of how to evangelize. How do we evangelize in the 21st century? Feeling like he felt, least by Christ, that is to say, in love with Jesus Christ. Secondly, in Jesus Christ was revealed a God of love who preaches and sends out love, and that love must be shown to men through the Word, the sacraments, and charity. There is no piece of land on God's earth that has not been touched by the maestro of Avila. That is why he is not just a clerical saint, but a universal saint, because he spoke to priests and also spoke to those in consecrated life, to parents and to families. And he also spoke to the poor and the needy. To all of those, he announced the single mystery that gives our lives meaning, that God loves us because he redeemed us in the mystery of Jesus Christ. The church was born in the manger of Bethlehem and was consecrated in the nuptials of Jesus Christ on the cross. A church doctor is someone whose writings and preachings are deemed useful to Christians in any age. Last August, Pope Benedict XVI announced at World Youth Day that St. John of Avila will be elevated as a doctor of the church. He will be the 34th. The announcement came while he was here in Madrid's Almudena Cathedral with priests and seminarians. St. John of Avila was a priest of the 16th century, that century that was so important for Spain and all of humanity because it's when globalization began, the circumnavigation of the globe, commerce, the discovery of America and such. There was also a sort of doctrinal, cultural and religious turmoil in this period in which we also see great saints like St. Teresa, St. John of the Cross and St. Ignatius of Loyola. St. John of Avila is among these. He was a great writer, a holy man, a preacher and catechist. He directed universities and colleges, helped the poor. He was a man of many facets, we could say, but above all, it all came from his love of Jesus Christ, in which his inheritance has been left behind in his writings, his figure, and the works he instituted. And this Spaniard, who was in charge of promoting the great saint's cause to become a doctor, is happy that all the hard work has paid off. Beginning in 1970, the Spanish Bishops' Conference commenced a series of tasks necessary to verify that the doctrine of St. John of Avila was eminent, which is required to be a doctor. Eminent means that he goes beyond the ordinary. He must also know how to live it out. It can't just be a theoretical knowledge of the Christian mystery of the faith. And he also must know how to communicate it. St. John of Avila was a great communicator. Therefore, the work he did has led him to this point where the Pope considers that he demonstrated all of the requisites to become a doctor of the Church, and he has said that he will appoint him soon. It remains to be announced when, in 2012, his installation as the newest doctor of the Church will come.